Since we first cleared the sand from the Great Sphinx, ancient Egypt has captured people's attention. Archaeologists and historians have been obsessed with it for the past 200 years. It's a place whose mysteries we've been slowly solving for years. But even after all this time, there is still a ton that we don't understand. Some of the greatest finds from antiquity are still hidden in Egypt's sands, waiting to be discovered. Such revelations frequently only lead to new mysteries and unanswered questions. But first, thanks for watching this video, you could really help me out just by pressing the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin with 10 unsolved mysteries. 10. The Lost Labyrinth of Egypt A massive labyrinth in Egypt from 2,500 years ago surpassed even the pyramids, according to one who saw it. It was a huge structure with two stories. There were an astounding 3,000 different rooms inside, all connected by a complex network of winding passages that no one could navigate without assistance. King tomb-like underground chambers were located at the bottom and a massive roof made of a single enormous stone was present at the top. Numerous ancient authors claim to have seen it firsthand, but 2,500 years later, we're still unsure of its location. The closest thing we've found to it is a massive stone plateau that's 300 meters wide, 1,000 feet, which some people think was once the labyrinth's base. The top stories, if it is, have been completely lost to time. A team of georadar experts scanned the plateau in 2008 and discovered what appeared to be an underground labyrinth that resembles the one described by ancient writers. One, however, no one has ever dug it up or gone inside before. We won't know for sure whether we've discovered Egypt's greatest archaeological marvel until someone makes it into the labyrinth. 9. The Unknown Queen of Egypt The tomb of a woman who was interred among the massive pyramids of the Old Kingdom of Egypt was discovered in 2015 by archaeologists. Inscriptions in her tomb refer to her as both the mother of the king and the wife of the king. 4,500 years ago, when this woman was alive, she would have been one of the most important people on the planet. She would have had greater power than any other woman in the nation. And nobody has any idea who she is. She was given the name Kentakawas III by historians who believe she was the daughter of Queen Kentakawas II. They speculate that she was Pharaoh Nephrephra's wife and the mother of Pharaoh Mekahar, but they are unsure. They are only speculating. If Kentakawas III was her name, nothing we've ever found has ever made any mention of her. Whatever she was, she was once a woman of immense power, but she is now little more than a mystery. 8. The Sphinx of Israel A 4,000-year-old Egyptian sphinx was discovered in 2013 in Tel Hazar, Israel, which surprised archaeologists who had never expected to find one so far from Egypt. They discovered the statue's paws, which were perched on a base. It is thought that the remainder was purposefully destroyed thousands of years ago. However, it would have stood 1 meter, 3.3 feet, tall and weighed half a ton before someone knocked it over. Nobody is aware of the purpose of an Egyptian statue in Israel. An inscription on the base bearing the name, King Mycerinus, a pharaoh who ruled over Egypt around 2500 BC, is the only piece of information still present. It's extremely unlikely that the Egyptians took Tel Hazar. Tel Hazar was a major trading center in Canaan during the reign of Mycerinus, also known as Menkor, situated between Egypt and Babylon. It was essential to the financial health of two of the region's most powerful nations. It was most likely a gift, in our opinion. However, if it was a gift, it's unclear why King Mycerinus gave it or why anyone became enraged enough to break it. The only thing we can be certain of is that someone constructed a Sphinx 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles, away from the Great Sphinx of Giza. 7. The Mysterious Death of King Tut King Tutankhamun passed away at the age of 19, and the exact circumstances of his death are unknown. Not because he was in his prime, but rather because his death is a complete mystery. Tut had so many problems that it's difficult to determine which one caused his death, which is why his passing is so mysterious. King Tut was in poor health. He had malaria, four starters, and he was born with so many genetic disabilities that historians are certain his parents were siblings. He had a club foot and genetic flaws, which some people think may have made his death inevitable. He also had a fractured skull that, for a long time, was thought by archaeologists to be a sign that he'd been stabbed in the head. Today, it's believed that his head just got damaged while his body was being embalmed, but the possibility that he was murdered hasn't been ruled out. There is a theory that he was killed in a chariot accident because he also broke his knee just before he passed away. But even if that were the case, his choice to board that chariot in the first place was odd. 
the deformity of Tut prevented him from even being able to stand without assistance. It could have been anything. The only thing we can be certain of is that King Tut didn't receive a lot of encouraging news during his final month on Earth. 6. The Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid For Pharaoh Khufu, the largest of all the pyramids was constructed 4,500 years ago. With more than 2.3 million stone blocks, it is a huge structure that is nearly 150 meters, 490 feet, tall. But until recently, there appeared to be only three chambers inside. You're not alone if you think that's a lot of empty space. A team scanned the pyramid in November 2017 to check for any items they might have missed. Indeed, they discovered indications that there might be a sizable hidden chamber as sizable as the largest room in the entire pyramid above the Great Gallery of the Pyramid. The strange thing is that the Egyptians deliberately built the hidden chamber to be completely inaccessible. There are no corridors or pathways connected to it. The only way they could have put anything inside is if they filled the chamber while they were building the pyramid, then sealed it up afterward. We still haven't seen the inside of the hidden chamber. But whatever is in there, Pharaoh Khufu apparently didn't want it to ever see the light of day. 5. The Mummy Wrapped in a Foreign Book an ancient Egyptian mummy was purchased by a man from an Alexandrian shopkeeper in 1848. He displayed it as a decoration for years without realizing what a peculiar artifact he had. But a few decades later, when the doctors removed her bandages, they discovered something very strange. The book's linen pages had been used to wrap the mummy, but it wasn't written in Egyptian. It took years of research to determine what language it was, but today we are aware that it is written in Etruscan, the ancient tongue of a people who once inhabited what is now Italy. We don't have much knowledge of this language. The longest Etruscan text we've ever found is encircled by this mummy. But there are still a lot of unanswered questions. One is that we are still unsure of what the text actually says. We can only make educated guesses as to what it means or why anyone would wrap it around a dead body because we only understand a few words which appear to be dates and the names of gods. Most importantly, we don't know why an Etruscan book was found in Egypt wrapped around a mummy. A message to everyone. 4. The Dendera Light Unusual imagery is depicted in a large relief on the temple wall in Dendera, Egypt. According to the common interpretation, it depicts a snake emerging from a lotus flower while being supported by a pillar with human arms. Not just because the pillar has arms, but the entire image is strange. It just so happens to resemble a model of a crook's tube, an early light bulb developed in the 19th century in every way. In fact, it resembles a light bulb so much that some people believe it to be a blueprint for building one. That kind of theory is typically put forth by tall-haired lunatics on the History Channel, but they make some eerily persuasive arguments. The only room in the entire temple without fire-burning lamps was the one that displays the Dendera light. The only area of the building where Egyptians burned lamps was this one, according to residue discovered by archaeologists. How then did they see anything if they didn't have an early model of a light bulb stored in here? Why did they bother hanging such a complex image on the wall if the space was completely dark? 3. The Destroyed Pyramid The highest point of any pyramid in Egypt should be found on the Pyramid of Jadefre. Of that, Jadefre made certain. Although he lacked the means to construct the largest pyramid, he found a clever way to ensure that the tip of his tomb stood slightly taller than everyone else's. On a hill, he constructed it. But for some reason, only Jadefre's pyramid has been completely destroyed while all the other Egyptian pyramids are still standing after thousands of years. The base is all that is left. There are theories as to what transpired, but nobody is entirely certain. Some believe that Jadefre simply passed away before they could complete much of the work, leaving his pyramid in ruins. Others believe that 2,000 years ago, Romans demolished a significant historical structure in order to quarry the area for the stones. Others believe that Jadefre was simply abhorred by the Egyptian populace who were willing to destroy an entire pyramid out of spite. 2. The Disappearance of Queen Nefertiti One of the few women to rule over Egypt, Queen Nefertiti, is legendary. She is thought to have seized control of Egypt and ruled in her own right. She was the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten and most likely the mother of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. However, Nefertiti's final resting place has never been discovered, despite the fact that other Pharaoh's tombs can still be seen dotting Egypt today. Her tomb has been sought after for many years. Archaeologists were almost certain they had discovered her grave in a hidden chamber within King Tut's tomb up until the year 2018. But when they carefully examined the wall in May, they discovered that nothing was there. 
Curiously, neither Egyptian nor Western history makes any reference to her demise. The last mention of her disappears completely after about the twelfth year of her husband Akhenaten's rule. Some contend that she changed her name and became pharaoh as a result, though not everyone concurs. Some people believe that the solution to this mystery is a little less interesting than we might hope. The simplest explanation, in Dr. Joyce Titsley's opinion, is simply that Nefertiti was never a pharaoh at all. Dr. Titsley contends that the reason why Nefertiti received so much attention in the 1920s was because a sculpture of her face gained popularity at the time and people simply wanted her to be well known enough to believe it. Dr. Titsley claims that the explanation is straightforward. Nefertiti was not a very important person, so we don't know what happened to her. 1. The Lost Land of Punt Punt is a location that appears frequently in writings from ancient Egypt. The Egyptians were fascinated by this ancient African kingdom, which contained gold, ivory, and exotic animals. And it had to have been very potent. It was a location that the Egyptians revered and referred to as God's land. There is no denying Punt's existence. It is frequently mentioned in prehistoric writings. Even a statue of the Punti Queen exists in an Egyptian temple. However, despite how significant and potent this location must have been, we have never discovered it. The artifacts the Egyptians preserved are the only traces left of Punt. Scientists studying the mummified remains of two baboons that the Egyptians acquired from Punt in their desperate attempt to locate this kingdom came to the conclusion that the baboons, at the very least, had originated in the region of present-day Eritrea or eastern Ethiopia. This at least gives us a place to look as we search for Punt, but an archaeological search would need to cover a large area. Additionally, if the ruins of the kingdom of Punt are ever discovered, a whole new set of mysteries about our past will become available for investigation. That was all for today. So, which did you find most interesting? Do let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest videos. Until next time, stay tuned.